Welcome back, Zero K fans. This is the finals. It's almost over. So admittedly, I'm sure you're also heartbroken about that. But yes, the tournament is almost completed. Randy and Drone are going to be fighting for top spot. Loudry lost 2-0 to Google Frog. He's in fourth place. Google Frog got third. And now we are going to be watching the finals, starting on Wanderlust, which is a map I really enjoy watching because it's it's a cool mix between different styles of maps with choke points and hills, but also being fairly open and flat and works for a lot of factors actually very flexible i like it <laughs> that was the general idea yay it succeeds i think <clears throat> no uh we need a drone to uh enter the match i think um you'll enter when his pizza is uh eaten. wait i he's something went wrong he's on one oh. team they're both on team one uh yeah they're both kind of allied at this point <laughs> That doesn't work. No, no, it doesn't. I think it's actually a mistake. I think it actually are on different teams. The game is about uh, not about sharing, but shooting each other. Yeah, and things exploding. The stuff needs to explode. For okay, now the game is starting. We are getting going. Like I said, Wanderlust. I probably should describe the map while I was showing it. That was a mistake. Sorry about that. Anyway, Randy going for Loki. Drone going for spiders. Hey! Love spiders. Spiders for the cloakies. Yeah, oh, wow. Oh, the game is lagging like... Oh? What is happening? Uh, I'll on. rejoin. Okay. This is not good. Okay, well, I'll just cover. Anyway, Randy is going for glaze. He's going to need to go for Rocco's. Once he sees this please, he's going to be going straight for Rocco's. But he only has three glaze so far. It looks like just a minor scout. Drone sending a few around. I don't think he's going to go for a raid. No, he's going for a raid with the fleas. He's... Well, he's going for a bit of a scouting. He wants to know what's going on in the base. He's going to see it. He's going to die. And nothing has come up yet. The radar going down. Drone getting a free radar kill on Randy and a free mechs too. Wow, this is a very healthy start for Drone. No, not a free mechs. Never mind. That glaive is going to stop it. But still knocks out Randy's radar very early on. So Randy is entirely line of sight. Drone, on the other hand, also line of sight. So Drone just keeps it even. Getting Weavers behind this. Drone probably going to do what he's done before, which is just... Stall his opponent enough that he can get economy built up behind his fairly meager but still sufficient attacks. Flea's coming in, however, and it looks like he's going straight for Flea Assault. This is this is very unusual. I've got to say, this does not happen. I, I mean, it happens occasionally, but it's just... Fleas do not live long enough. However, he's, he's going for it. He really wants to push pressure onto Randy. And, well, getting some Venoms behind this as well, and just Venoms. It, I'm back, and it works. Okay, cool. So yeah, Fleas, apparently Drone wants to use him as an assault unit against Cloakies. And Fleas, frankly, no. I, I'm confused, but honestly, I think he's just trying to put pressure on to keep economy going behind it. He's that's at least, the idea. Yeah, he's at least keeping he's keeping Randy in his base, that's for sure. Not dealing a whole lot of damage, mind you, but actually this... He's not really... Not, he's not succeeding because he uh, got out on two... Boss with constructors. Yeah. Free now. That's that's true, and the glaives are now able to push out and drone, not quite there. Actually, you're right. Drone has. I'm surprised he didn't build a third weaver or a second weaver on top of that, just to expand to the northeast. And now comes the problem because glaive spam used to just flat out kill uh, the entire spider factory. Mm hmm. But now the way weavers are, or the way venoms are set up, it doesn't happen. Yeah, Phantoms do real damage now. Yep, and Redbacks kill Glaze. Redbacks kill Glaze hard. It, they kill most anything. Actually, that's the reason why you'd want to use Rockos if nothing else. Venoms and Redbacks. I don't know if you've seen Redbacks much. They're I think very I've new. seen them once. They're like, they have the particle beam, right? That's right. Yeah, they're light particle beam spider. As scary as it sounds. Ah. Oh. Yeah, they, but they were expensive, slow, and etc. Yeah, they are expensive, they are slow, they don't have very high health, but they have a particle beam. Yeah, you can skirmish. They they are scary. I mean, admittedly... It's... I'm not sure what, what their added value is next to the Vena, uh, the, the Recluse. Well, the recluse Accuracy, really, that's the thing. Accuracy okay. and fire rate. And it looks like a flea is actually being successful in the northwest side of the map. The center, Drone's Commander getting attacked by Rocco's because oh, Randy, the of course, could kill... I the glaive does to. kill that, that flea. 
So that no, but another fleet coming down here, trying to take out the rest of it. But no, it goes. I down. meant in Not his base. Really. He, uh, I thought for a second he was trying to kill uh, the oh, constructors, yeah, but uh, he m oh, went he for the two Maxis instead of the. And drones losing his commander. Just about to, he's, his commander is not quite down, Dead. there it's down. Down, it was a plus 14 energy, that's it. Drone lost all his energy. No energy and he had nothing in storage either. Nope. He is pretty much dead in the water right now. Trying to throw fleas at Rocco's, it's not gonna work. There are flays behind that, so he doesn't make a chance. Just no. a chance. this is game. Losing his commander was game and that is it. Well, that was that was short for game one. I believe this is best of five, by the way. I don't believe it's best of three. I'm exactly. Gonna figure out a way of make a widget that actually has tournament score. That's something you need to do. <laughs> it shouldn't be too say, hard. I keep saying how many games are won by each player, but I've got to actually you know show it because it's not being shown right now. But by the way, do you does the StarCraft standard interface provide the StarCraft Two like one it? does? StarCraft Brood War does not. Yeah, StarCraft 2 has several interfaces for that purpose. Although I haven't really played StarCraft 2 that much recently, I sort of looked at it a little bit in the last couple, in the last week or so, just because I found out Starbo and Starbo is really cool. But I did find the interfaces are in fact set up for that purpose. Okay, so you can set up scores over multiple games. You have to, well, sort of. You have to actually set the score at the beginning of every game. It's a little wonky. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, the way Akron works is actually automatic. It's dependent on position, on relative position, though, but it's automatic. So okay. when someone wins or loses, it'll automatically set a win tick. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then once it's complete, then it just empties them all out at the beginning of the game. So, yeah, that was one game. This was game number one up to number two. It's a on flat map again. Ravine. Wow. No, I've never seen... Safe. Oh boy, I hope they're not going to play this map, because my computer cannot handle it. Oh, because the fog, the dual fog widget? I think I will uh, grind down to a PowerPoint presentation. Well, maybe. I think they, I think Seth Ravine actually disabled that, or V2 or something like that. I think Seth got disabled. I will see. Uh... Although it's not a featured map. Actually, no, it wouldn't be valid. Oh, uh, but Randy, gets, agreed, Randy can veto yeah. it. Randy can veto it, although apparently it's... I don't know, that... we'll see. Okay, this is getting weird. Lol. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Okay. Pointing out that I probably should link the brackets in my channel description. It's a little bit late now, but I'll do it anyway. Not sure where to do it, though. I guess I could... Where could I do that? Actually, I don't know where I can even link stuff in the description. I've never done that before. I feel so amateur. Oh, where's my Chrome window? It, wait. Oh, there it is. Okay. Is there a stream description? I don't think there is. There's a title. I guess I can do that. Maybe that'll work? I don't know. Does that work as a description? Because I what honestly don't know. Do? I'm trying to put the the cast the brackets in my description. So when people are watching the stream they can see what's going on or where to look for the brackets, but I don't know how to do that. I don't know if I can. You, you mean the the current game is updated in your channels or your stream? No 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 name. no I don't update the title that often. Actually I'm not gonna bother with that. I think I'll just Go back to the title, the normal title. I don't think Twitch has a description feature. Apparent, or if it does, I don't see it. Anyway, on to the next game. Yeah, this makes sense. I mean, it has a description feature for the highlights, just not for the main video, I don't think. Or if it does, I might not have it because I'm not that popular. Mm -hmm. So yeah, anyone watching on YouTube, feel free to go into Twitch and watch when I'm streaming and follow so I know when I'm streaming. Because that little advertising thing in the corner here. Telling you where to go. Anyway, we're on game two of the finals of Randy vs. Drone. It's going to be on Quicksilver. Again, we see this map once again. Pretty cool map. It's not Seth's Ravine, but it actually shares a, some of the ideas. It has design. ramps. It has ramps. It has very cliffy section. It has, I mean, if it didn't 
have the water, it would actually resemble it in a lot of ways. It's a bit like uh, Microsoft Paint ramps. Yeah, that's one thing about this map. It is a little bit simplistic in terms of its the art of its I design. I don't mind, by the way. It's an interesting looking map. Although this is Wait for the players. maybe a bit extreme in the um, let's put a ramp over here uh, hey, well, approach. Perhaps, but the game has started regardless. Regardless of your opinion on map design, the game has begun. An airplane start for Randy with drone going in for a amp? What? Oh, An amp well, start. He's trolling or he misclicked? I don't know, but he's going for ducks anyway. He might be trying to do for a duck destruction of everything. I... Uh, what? Okay. You don't know either, do you? No, I haven't kept up with any of this stuff, so... No, amps aren't that... I mean, ducks one-shot mexes, yes, but... And each How other. How is the A, a capability of ducks? Do they have homing missiles? Yes. Do they keep... Yeah, they do. That's a thing. I, that's, I'm that's. not sure if they're able... If they have the range to hit air, though. But yes, they do have homing missiles. Mostly exactly. used against other things. It's. I guess it will work. At the very least, it's... Or let's see. Nope, not enough range. Gunships are probably... Too slow. Uh... Yeah, gunships would probably have no chance, but... Air, not so much. Why is he moving back? His only hope is to raid with the ducks to smash ah, all the missiles. Oh, this hey, is what I mean. There it goes. And it misses. What the? I that, thought that for totally a second missed. that it was an AA missile. Not dedicated AA, no. It's meant to destroy mechs and each other. And ducks ducks are great at killing each other. They're wonderful at that. You have two ducks in an area, guaranteed the other one's going to kill the other. Yeah, the missiles don't have enough fuel to really be effective AA. That's the thing. Yeah, it... In contrary to the to those uh, tank skirmishes, uh, benches, yeah, they can do AA. Okay, well, actually, one thing being pointed out is it, there is water, and it's possible to go into water. Though it's not really possible to get out of it conveniently. I don't uh, know why I'd be doing that. I don't even know how deep the water is. The water's not that deep, honestly. Uh, I think it's yeah, it's deep enough. It's deep enough, I guess, but then the I don't think it's getting out of it. In that regard, Amphibious doesn't give you that much of an advantage. Nope. And vehicles in the center of the map. Randy going for proxy vehicles. One of they did win the first game, so that's that puts Drone at a disadvantage. Drone still has one game after this if he loses, so it's not completely over. But it's going to be tough. Because last game, we really saw... We saw the scariness of Wonderlust. Short game, oh, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we saw that spiders really don't do too well if you're not super careful with them. Randy knows how to deal. Especially when you're raiding with fleas. Because fleas don't raid. Mm. Well, they sort of do. They raid undefended locations, but in Wanderlust, where's that going to be? I just have to make sure you're in time. Catch the constructor. Yeah, I think really, though, map hack. That's what you use fleas for, is the map hack. Hmm. Know where your army, your opponent's army location is, and then use that for ambushes. Oh wow! Look at those anglers. Oh yeah, those—they're not doing too bad. But that being said, wow, nice dodge. Okay, you can actually dodge How the bomber—that's for sure. I was pretty sure they used to shoot two missiles, not four. Hmm, might have been buffed recently. Although shadows—that's one shadow. There's another shadow coming. That's two shadows now. Looks like he's just trying to get rid of this duck. He is going to succeed, by the way. Ducks die in one shot to shadows. Oh, definitely. As I found out the hard way many times. <laughs> they die on rapids. Rapids. Ant versus air makes sense on that map. Not oh, here. those slashers. What are you going to do about those? Ducks. <laughs> or defend. Oh, no. Defender's not going to repair in time. And drones commander, beam laser e cell, point out. Beam laser e cell support chassis. Randy's is beam laser e cell recon chassis. Looks like he's pushing in to support these guys, repairing that slasher, and just pushing everything back, and causing a minor forest fire. Oh, his commander is almost down. His commander is his only economy once again. Drone has not learned that lesson. I thought he learned that lesson. He seemed to have been acting like he learned that lesson in the last series, but apparently he's forgotten the lesson conveniently. At least conveniently for Randy. No, nah, they just... Because... Oh, the anglers... This wasn't meant to work. I'm not sure how are you ever wow. going to make... 
amphibious units to work on a map like this. I don't know either, but the anglers at least have enough firepower that they can protect drone's commander from one shadow. That is one thing, if anything, and that's not much. Boy, or, boys. Why do we pronounce that unit? Boys. 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 Okay. Boy. Oh, um, boy. Just boy. They could. They could work. They have the health, definitely. Oh, uh, damage of a single angler rockets. 640 for the pack, so I'm guessing that it's going to be around 160 per rocket. Uh -huh. Assuming that is a per or that is a per pack damage value, not per rocket damage value. Yeah, I think so. Otherwise, it would be kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> be broken. Well, see, shadows. How much health do they have off hand? Oh, I don't have. Let's see, shadows have 1100 health. So yeah, that'd be totally broken. That'd be two missiles and the shadow be down. <laughs> uh, Randy Ford will win this out one that so boy, hard. He, he's arguing with my pronunciation of boy. He needs to be much more like a boy. Boy. <laughs> That's kind of South African. Anyway. Where was I? Oh, yes. There we are. Light vehicle factory with scorchers. Trying to get rid of this angle. Angler, what is it doing here? There's no air coming in. Okay, there's the one shadow. There's the one shadow. That's it. Boy is coming in here. And ducks as well. Well, the boys are probably going to be the better. I mean, the ducks, obviously, nice strike attack force. And drone's commander is nearly healed up. It's actually doing pretty well for itself, despite the earlier attacks on it. And drone... Able to stabilize his economy. No energy structure, though. He needs wind generators. He needs windmills. Desperately needs windmills. Getting some... Well, getting another conch to get his construction going. He needs something with HP. Well, then he shouldn't have played the amphibious lab, should he? <laughs> no, that's the point. <laughs> Although, boys aren't too bad for that purpose, but still. Uh, After that, grizzly. 300 metal each. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Actually, archers have decent HP. They have 800 each. Yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, that used to be the damage. case that you could use Jetrars or those cloaked anti-air units yep. for HP shield. Oh. They used to have a lot more HP. Okay. Well. But nobody noticed. <laughs> doesn't much matter now. And actually, Anglers have 1100 HP. So once again, that could work. No, he's getting walled by missile turrets. Oh. I don't true. think Drone is even trying. He wants to eat his pizza. I think you're right. I think he just doesn't want to forfeit outright. Because it's... I mean, look at the way it's going. Randy has the entire map. I, I'd say he has drone's base as well. He has map control over drone's base. Drone just has yeah. to be occupying it at the moment. But that's that's Randy's territory. <laughs> Hasn't exactly. been taken yet. <laughs> it's just he, Randy has it. soft control over that part of the map. Yeah, he's nothing that can shoot up. I said soft control. You just take it if he pushes. And he's probably going to push pretty soon. Oh. Hey, how about that? Drone's commander not quite dead yet. Oh, actually, I didn't notice that. There's actually The ramp goes both ways. On the south. Yeah, oh, okay, so amphibs way. could go through that ramp a little bit. It's a bit of a path, but not much. <laughs> it's such a detour. I don't even know. Can you even path in it? I mean, it looks like the... Barely. It's... It's like... No, it's pretty low. It's pretty deep. I think it only worked because the commanders are amphibious. Yeah, commanders and amphibious units. Yeah, but the... But who cares? It's not worth anything. Why would you go that way? If there would have been a pathway um, through the center, and that water would have been slightly bigger. Yeah, you mean the right this center section here? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that, that would make sense. However, it looks like... These ducks are not coming in to do anything. They could do a lot, too. I mean, these ducks could do a lot of damage. Radar tower going down. The mechs could have gone down. These scorchers, it's not quite one shot each for the scorchers. The ducks deal four. No, it is. I don't, they it's four, cannot it's even a one shot in the water. No, it's not going to work. Oh, wait, there's a ramp here, or is there? Yep, there's a ramp. There's a ramp here, and there's a ramp here. Yeah, okay, so they could get in. They could have gone into the water. Could have. Didn't. Bit of a shame, too, because the, like, the scorchers would be one shotted by ducks. Yeah. And the ducks are actually the same cost. 150 to 130. But the Scorchers get one-shotted by them. And the Scorchers are coming in, and that's Drone's economy out. There's the push. Randy going for it, and Drone... Drone's... Well, it's not quite GG, but 
it's something. He surrenders regardless. Regardless of the exact form he uses for a surrender, it, the surrender is still put in. So that's game two. <laughs> okay, do you really are they really going to play speed metal? No, they are not playing speed metal. I decree that they will not play speed metal. Altair, are you sure? No, no, no. The Altair, Altair crossing is just the fault. It because we're still on a one v one host, so it oh. right it goes through. I see. Oh, bad lines. Interesting. I've not seen this map in a while, actually. I expect I, shield mirror. I casted one game today on this map. Oh, oh, uh, the earlier games. Yeah, between. No, um... oh, I forgot who they, who they were. Oh. I believe it was a drone versus someone else. Okay, possibly Black Duchy. Anyway, we have Badlands. That is what we have. That is the map. It is. <laughs> It is a very hilly map. It's one that makes shield bots actually work nicely. And it's a viable uh, spider map. That's true, but I've never really seen spiders used much on it, surprisingly. I think maybe there's too much flat ground between, or just no one tried. It hasn't been played in a while, so maybe nowadays spiders would actually be used. And still, cloakies are, are still great on this map. They it's are... my favorite to play cloakies on this Really? Or at least it used to be. Yeah, I always find shields work better just because the way that the hills work, the fact that they slowed everything down so much, it seemed like it kind of evened out shields and cloakies, so shields didn't have the disadvantage. Mm, yeah. But they still had their toughness. See, Randy going for cloakies, and Drone going for... Uh, okay, come on! I was just taking the he, piss. He's not even trying. He's not even trying. That's conch, honestly. Okay. A conch starting an amphib plant in Badlands. It's, it's a, what reclaim is there on this map? There's no rec. There's a little bit of reclaim. I mean, really. If you started with a duck, I'd at least take him seriously because he might be trying to go for an early snipe of some sort. Uh, I, I don't mind starting out with a constructor, but the factory choice is just bullshit. Yeah, but the thing is that amphib plant, unless you're on rapids, its biggest strength is the fact that ducks one shot mexes. Yeah, and all auto raiders. Yeah, they just it's a one-shot factory. That's its big thing. And archers have the impulse, but that's not a big thing. Otherwise, why would you play amphibs unless you're just taking the piss, which Drone is? Not that I'm surprised. He's kind of a troll guy, but still. He's a troll man. But Randy, not so much. Randy takes this more seriously and is... Beamlinger E-Cell Recon Com is doing a nice job expanding quickly. Drone also beam laser e-cell recon chassis with an economic disadvantage. And is... Well, no expansion in both directions. Randy is getting reclaimed nicely. Drone is... Drone isn't. He got some... In... Actually, he got... he got a bit earlier, but... That's one archer. And another archer. I like this game against Google Frog a lot. But this is not good. Yeah... The game against Google Frog is really cool, but this is just dis as it keeps happening in these tournaments, the final is always kind of disappointing. And Why the glaive out. But, yeah, I don't know. The finals. I mean, at least the last two finals there was a reason because drone. I mean, it was, yeah, it was drone versus good. And I mean, okay, drone tried. He really mm -hmm. tried that time. But this time I think he just figured that Randy's the best player in the game. I'll just, I'll just take an easy second and have my pizza. <laughs> that is kind of the problem with having a one day tournament although I think one day tournament is a terrible name I think Nanolades at Dawn should be what the tournament series is called I think that's a cool name yeah you mentioned it I, I did it. mention it in thread and I'm mentioning it again Nanolades at Dawn when I, when, you, when I read it or when you said it I didn't make the connection to Pistols at Dawn but I wrote right afterwards it's like Pistols at Dawn <laughs> yeah but unless somebody tells me I wouldn't have no. Yeah, but but I mean I, I wrote it in the forum post right after I said Nanolades at Dawn. Yeah, I, I mean, know, but if you wouldn't have, I wouldn't have known. Oh, okay, yeah. Sorry, I thought you meant even though I did. And Archer's coming in raiding. I mean, Drone is at least making a token effort. Actually, not more than a token effort. These archers are not doing a terrible job. In fact, he's migrating the archer pretty well. He has to worry about the assault to the center, but he is at least keeping Randy a little bit... Well, a little bit on his toes. Not very much. Not meaningfully. But he's not completely throwing in the towel right away. And a boy coming in. 
And another boy coming in. That's going to be a bit more effective. Conscious on the side, drone expand in the north, expand in the south. He is doing a split expansion, but not anywhere near as strongly as he was. Nowhere near the same way. If he have more boys, then he, it's, he could make it work. He could, but those boys are on fight. I don't, I don't agree with that. I guess At Rocco's, this point, you can do it manually still. Yeah, I don't really don't agree with you. I just don't agree with putting them on fight against Rocco's because they could just push in close and then dodge the shots even as they're moving in. They have enough HP, they can even tank half the shots and just be more accurate as a result. But it looks like Randy's commander is actually taking a fair amount of damage from the boys. They aren't targeting it though, and he's able to run away with it. A few of those rockers going down, Randy not quite maneuvering those rockers as well as he could, and he's actually not... Okay, he is manually microing them, but he wasn't paying attention to them when he could have been. And that's damaging him, but Glaive's coming from the east side as well, tearing apart drones' economy. Game? Yeah, almost. Almost. I don't know, I think it's fully game. I'd be surprised if Drone managed to win out of this. He actually, though he's close on Randy's commander, Randy just needs to push in. One, a couple of good shots of the Roccos, and those boys are down. And then, what else is there? I mean, Randy's commander is... Well, where is Randy's commander? Randy's commander's over... Sorry, Drone's commander's over in the corner. Randy's commander's retreating a bit, letting itself heal up, licking its wounds. Drone's commander's in the back, getting repaired as it's getting hit by Roccos. Next, Rocco shot's gonna kill it. It's dead. Oh, no, it jumps. Clutch jump on there right before the last rocket hits it to kill it. Not sure that's going to actually make a difference, but you know what? It's not dead. If anything else, it's not dead. And it is pushing another boy out. The drone is actually giving a bit of an effort here. He does have archers in the back. He could be raiding with those. He is not paying attention to what he could be multitasking out. He could be raiding. He could be blocking off the glaives. He's not doing either of those things. The boys are getting no. rid of the glaives, though. They've gotten rid of the Roccos, except one. Drone's actually... Wow, he's starting to not quite stabilize, but he's certainly not out of the game yet. He's been expanding behind this as well. This is amazing. For not trying, at least. Now, if we can get up to six boys. Oh, boys. there's the raid. Archer's going for it. So Drone's not apparently tired. He's not multitasking as well as he could be. But he is going with the Archer for the raid. And he is going to take out... He's going to oh, get he's a free wasting Rector. His boys. Hmm? He's... No, he retreats. Uh, for a second, I thought he was going to attack that commander. Nah, it's not going to work. But he does have three free Rector kills available. The Archer, however, going for mechs kills instead, also free. And a Glaive trying to stop it is not going to do too much. Archer's really nothing to worry about with Glaives, but... It is a free mechs kill. Actually, Drone, now with a reclaim field of his own, is able to start building up. Wow! I did not see this coming. Did you? No, 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 not at all. Well, this is certainly a bit of a turnaround. I mean, Drone is actually stabilizing somewhat. I still, Randy still has three quarters of the map. Like, easy he has three quarters of the map. Or, no, easy has half the map under his control. The left side of the map is his. Or the right side of the map, bottom right <laughs> is contested. It's a strange game. It really is. I think Drone just decided, you know what? Screw it. I am going to try. Forget giving up. I'm going to go for it. Nah. Four I think so. boys now? Okay, okay. Yeah, I think he's actually taking this seriously now. At least as much as he can, starting Amphib. If he switches factories, then I'll believe he really is taking it seriously. Although, he's massing a lot of units. He's not being stupid with them. He's got boys, and the boys... That's why I think Make he's... It. Amphibious death bowl. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, is that he does have boys, and he's keeping them alive, and that's the thing, is he... With those boys, that... That's his chance. And a chance to take advantage of, too. Now, the rest of this archer, this archer is another thing, although it's gonna get killed by the commander. The boys... Not... Doing too badly, they're gonna be able to get rid of all this stuff, no problem. The archer takes some damage, damages the commander a little bit of Randy, but not by much. Oh, and that boy... Boy pushing the center of the map. Now he needs to repair this one. It's going to die in the next Rocco shot. and needs to get out of the way. And it is in fact retreating. All of them are retreating. And the archer coming in as well to try to support a bit. Just to block off the glaives. Where is the conch? Where is the commander? There's the commander. No conch is nearby though. Where's that? This boy needs to get out of the way. It's going to die. That boy is dead. That's a bit of a shame. That's a it lot is. of metal. 
It's a good push, but not enough to break at this point. However, the commander is going to join up with that, and it looks like building up the center, and once again we see what may be a consolidation in a losing position. As you saw with Google Frog versus, well, versus Drone, consolidating a losing position is not a good idea. But I think Drone is not quite consolidating. I think he's just trying to make sure he doesn't get completely backdoored. Yeah. But well, there are no real raiders in the amphibious lab anyway. No, I mean, Drone is worried about Glaives. I think we could just but, keep spamming Glaives. Yeah, Randy keeps spamming Glaives, probably just get, get through here, because the boys don't deal well with Glaives. The archers do, but I think Randy, is his economy is strong enough. He could just spam it. The early raiding is no longer that, that much of a factor at this point. Archer's coming in to try to deal with these rockets, but they aren't going to work. Defender also trying to help out, but needs more boys. Yeah. And he's getting more boys. So that's good. He's getting exactly what he needs. And once more, reclaim. Like, Drone has not been reclaiming. It's, that's the thing. I think he's tired. He has four now. That's not enough to become really scary. No, but he could have six. Like, if he had been reclaiming more consistently, he could probably have had six by this point. Mm. And pushing in a bit of metal into his factory as well. And Archer's coming in, raiding to the south, getting rid of some glaives. One yeah. of them going down to a laser turret, though. The other one not deciding to go over that hill. Not a bad idea. Going up hills, very risky. Especially in a map like this. Especially with the height of these hills, with the laser turrets at the top. Tough thing to do. Hi, four boys coming in. And a grizzly! Okay, what? Well, I was taking him seriously. And this might work. I mean, it's... It exists. Well, if Drone leaves him alone for a minute. I mean, Randy leaves him alone, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, if Drone is left alone for two minutes, or one minute and 45 seconds, then there's a chance. And actually, it looks like Randy won't actually be able to break this too easily. There's enough boys no, to... boys are, uh, are good enough. And the conscious... Okay, Spirit. there are conscious. Wonderful. These boys can be repaired. Wonderful for Drone, I should say. Because that means those boys are not going to die trivially as they did before. Con's trying to get out here. No, Glaives are trying to go around the back. They are going to hit by a Lotus, and they are not going to make it through. One of them going to die before getting a shot off. No, not quite. Focusing... Okay, it does die before getting a shot off, but it didn't have to. The other one, dead. Boys running through the center, and I think... I think Drone might be assaulting a bit too soon. He's maybe putting a bit of pressure on. Seeing what he can get, I suppose, but these Roccos are too many. Strange thing is that they are even or almost even in army value they are and like i said stabilization and drone grizzly coming in here it's 40 seconds left and that grizzly is up granted it's basically a strider class unit but you know what my no the conch why is that conch in the middle of the map it needs to get back it needs to get out of the way it's not dead okay that would have been a complete waste if it had been and drones commander taking damage from a defender these rockers are going to try to destroy it needs to jump does it have jump it does not have jump it, no, it does have jump. Never mind. Just got jump back. Needs to get out of there. 15, 14, 16, 28, 27. That's not how countdowns work. <laughs> That's how it works in 0K. Okay. It's almost yeah. like Windows countdown. Yeah, ET is a little weird like that, but it is about 10 seconds. And it's almost 4 seconds. 3 seconds. 6 seconds. 4 seconds. Wait, there's 4 seconds already. One second. There we go. Grizzly is up. And another yeah, Grizzly is following. Yeah, spam those babies. I don't even know. He needs more metal. He needs more metal. He wants to do this seriously. And more clan or buoys too. As buoys, he needs those. Grizzlies. Okay. This is going to... Okay, reload time of six seconds. Yeah, this isn't going to work. Can it climb over the hill? Uh, I guess it does. See. Yeah, it can. It's got the pathing for it. It's red. It's slow, but it's possible. However... Those boys are needed there to be supported. He needs to support those boys. And he does have more metal coming in. Randy also has more metal coming in. Randy has a lot of the map. Gone for an air switch. Just now gone for an air switch, I should say. Getting shadows as well. We'll be able to take care of that grizzly. And think of the grizzly. That beam with a high reload time is not going to be friendly. Not against 22 rock... Or How many rockers are there here? There are 28 rockers. Yeah, that's... Okay, stinger on, we stinger on legs. I'll grant it but not really good enough. 
Now the longer you let it live, the more it kills because it's That's just true. Shooting. And if it gets the okay, if it hits the commander, the commander's down. And actually, Randy cares about the commander somewhat. His third of his economy is in his commander. He has E cell. He has 40 energy right now. And the boy's coming. Uh, in. The Rocco's trying to finish this off. Everything has more range than those Rocos. <laughs> That's true. But the thing is, that doesn't matter. What matters is that the boys oh, need it comes to defend to this Grizzly. He needs support on this. And you're right. Angler's coming in. Nice, nice read by drone. Completely understanding where Randy's going to go with this, and countering it through. Although, those boys need to be... He needs to be careful of those boys. They're going to be taking a lot of damage from all sides. Dodging is going to be impossible. Already it's impossible, pretty much. And Glaive's coming to deal with those boys. One of them down. Angler's trying to get rid of this. Nice jump on the commander. Stopping the... At least slowing down the bombers, but not enough. Drone loses his commander, and with that, most of his energy economy. And the Grizzly still alive, but heavily damaged. It looks like the second Grizzly was cancelled. Going instead oh. for Ducks. Which is... Not a terrible idea, but I think this is it. I think Drone has lost this. Losing his commander is such a big blow, and he's not moving towards killing Randy's commander. Now, if this does manage to get through the Rockos, there's a bit of a chance. But it's not even targeting them. He needs to target those Rockos. I think he has line of sight. He has line of sight. He needs to target those Rockos, and he needs to target where he's going to hit multiples. I believe that beam does penetrate. Like this, this area right here. Oh, it's not enough. It's just not enough. That Grizzly is down, and with <laughs> that, Drone is going to lose. I mean, uh, exactly. wow, well done for getting that far, given that he pretty much had washed it right at the start. But that's still it. That's still it. That's match. That's the tournament. That Grizzly that's Death it. is the tournament. And, well, he's trying what he can, but that's it. That's everything. A bit of an anticlimactic ending. A bit of an anticlimactic. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. A grizzly in the last game. Yeah, okay, that was cool. Yeah, got to give him that. But that is going to be the game. That's going to be the match. Going to be the tournament. And I'm, well, a little bit surprised that it was that easy. I, like I said, I called three one in the finals, but three zero. But that's it. So drone gets second place. Randy gets first place. The favorite to win. Not a huge surprise. Lowry gets fourth. Google Frog gets third. Thank you all for watching, and thank you, Floris, for joining me in the latter half of this stream, because that that was cool, Taff. I, I like doing dual casts. So yeah, yeah, thanks for joining. Yeah, uh, me too. It's uh, a lot easier and a lot better and more interesting, I think. If you have anything to tell the watchers, now's the time. Yeah, okay. Thank you for watching, and come back another time to Shadow Fury's channel. Or mine, but I won't be putting up much new videos anytime soon. But see you all next time. Yeah. So thank good you night. all for watching and have a good night, everybody. Good night.